So my point system, I had a high, I want to say 154 points, which scored me almost to nine years. So I did, still didn't want nine years. Yeah. You know, like most people are like, oh, you could have got 15, nine. No, I don't want nine years. Yeah. I'm a drug addict. I need help. Somebody help me, you know? Right. Yeah, it was. I mean, honestly, like one car with a light when you were to pull, just oh, look, we're pulling over. Like, yeah. I'm not getting to a high speed chase with you. With, for, for, you, you for you, when it's not anything to do with me. Like, right. it had nothing to do with Tommy. Tommy was just taking me because I was so shook up and so scared. Yeah. And it's it's crazy because I, I, my boyfriend's with me. Instead of saying to him, what do I do? I called somebody. Obviously, I didn't oh, even yeah. trust he's, this he's, motherfucker. No, he's done a lot. Yeah. You know, he's, like, he can't make a, bad, a good decision. No. Obviously, he picks up and calls it, Tommy and says, come get me. Well, the cops are behind me. They're, yeah, because if it was up to him, we would have left state Just come right get then. me. Just come get me. All right, bro. I mean, the drugs are just completely fucking got you delusional. Yeah. And, and, um, and of course, I didn't want to go back to the pawn shop and turn myself in. But the thought of the cops swarming my parents' house after I had only been out of prison two months, two months. I couldn't. Right. I couldn't. It just was too much for me. It really was. And and I would have loved to say that like I, I didn't go back, but I did. I went back. I turned myself in. He takes me to jail. I get arrested. I got another 12 felonies. Just for drugs? Well, one was a violation of probation because I was on probation for the first prison sentence. Right. Then I had dealing in stolen properties and false information to pawnbrokers. But I had so many. So it was like another 10, 10 or 12 felonies I got with right. a violation. So I'm in jail and obviously I don't have a bond because I had a, um, in Florida, you don't get a bond if you violate felony probation. Right. So I didn't have a bond. So I knew I was going to go, going away for a while. I'd already been to prison. Um, they came and served me with a paperwork that's for um, PRR, which in Florida is a prison release reoffender. So it um, says that the first three years you're out of prison. There's certain crimes you cannot in, commit. In the feds, they call it uh, they call it uh, um, recency. Okay. Yeah. So if within one year of getting off, uh, or at, at, within I think it's three years of prison and like one year of probation, if you commit another felony, mm -hmm. boom, then it's yeah, like it, they, they well, well, yeah, they 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 give you like another two, another two or three points mm -hmm. so you're wait, listen you're now you're doing at least another few you may be another two years it may be another eight years depending on where you fall but yeah it's the same thing they served me with it because i got burglary and burglary fell under the prr list and i had only been out of prison two months and why you, burglary like i thought it was the pawn shops yeah i got well oh, i got burglary you're... charges for being okay so yeah for, okay oh, so for, i left for that gritting the stuff out of the garage so, which and i never went into a garage but since i was in the vehicle you're it's the same you might yeah. as well be he went into the garage right. i popped it's the like hatch. i'm driving the getaway yeah, car for yeah. a bank so robbery so i got I did, I did get three burglaries plus the dealing in stolen properties and then that well burglaries fell on the prr reoffender list right so they came and saved, served me with per paperwork saying that that saying i could 15 years you know that they would serve that they could pursue prr whatever so I ended up going to court for a long time. I was in county jail this time for 15 months. Mm -hmm. um, my first, my offer from them was 15 years. So I opted to go to trial on my burglaries because 15 years to me, I, I, I mean, now, like when I think about you can't 15 really years, prove, you can't really prove that I went in there. You can't really like, there's just, exactly, yeah, you can prove that I had the stuff and then I pawned it in which you right, did but, that, but you couldn't prove because but he robbed it, brought it yeah. to me. And then I brought it like, so, I, I, if they're going to give you 15 years anyways, you, you might, might as well, well try. They will give it to you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, and, and I had already gotten my discovery, which, you know, explains every, all details of your case, all evidence of your case. So I knew that a witness had stated that it was my co-defendant and another man because I had a hood on. And then another witness stated it was a green truck and it was a blue one. Right. There's some so there was no, serious inconsistency. Yeah, there's some serious inconsistencies. So I was going to go to trial on my burglaries. Um, so at jury selection, I want to say it was like my first oh, jury how selection. Terrifi how terrifying is that? Yeah, right? So at my first time for jury selection, they, um, the state said they were not ready. So we were like, oh, okay. So then when I went back in for my second jury selection... They had offered to, what did they, what did they end up doing? Cause I got convicted of burglary. They dropped PRR, which took off the 15 mandatory. And then I, so my point system, I had a high, I want to say 154 points, which scored me almost to nine years. So I did, still didn't want nine years. Yeah. You know, like most people were like, oh, you could have got 15, nine. No, I don't want nine years. Yeah. I'm a drug addict. I need help. Somebody help me, you know? Right. 
So I, uh, I didn't want to take the nine years. And so what I ended up getting was a downward departure. Right. Um, because the witness, one of the witnesses said that the other person stayed in the car so we could prove that I was a minimal participant in the activity. My co-defendant was already being sentenced for PRR. So he was already getting 15 years. He had taken that. He had been to prison three times before. They hit him with habitual, yeah, violent yeah, career yeah. criminal. All it was a he took 15 years. So I um they gave me uh, downward departure and I got 60 months, five years DOC, followed by no probation is what I thought. Is what I thought I was taking. Right. So I took five years, and I went to prison. Um. I went back to the same prison up in the Panhandle, Gadsden. It had gotten a little worse because, you know, of course, they cut prison. They, when they budget cut, they cut prisons and stuff first, obviously, yeah. always. But again, it was still a private prison, so there was still a lot of good stuff for being there. That's when I did horticulture. Um, and I took it a little bit differently. My brother got married, and I have I, my brother is my only sibling. He's been with his wife now for like 16 years. He got married while I was there. So that was pretty devastating for me. Like, it sucked to miss that. And then um, my father also passed. So while I was there, it, I kind of like looked at things differently. I tried to listen to people older than me, like their stories, their advice, and just see where I could change my life because I didn't want to be 40, 50, 60 year old woman in prison. Working. No, because this, this is isn't working. And now, and now like I wasn't the first time I was a kid and the second time I was still a kid, but my mind had changed differently. And I was like, this just isn't for me anymore. Like I became lonely. I was sad. You know, and the first time I, I was lonely the first time, but I don't remember, it was a different sense of loneliness. Like I felt empty the second time I was in prison, you know? So I did horticulture. I did that. Um, and they, the state of Florida wanted me to go to what's called pre-work release before regular work release this time. Pre-work release is basically a, a rehab in a state run rehab. So that's what I did. I went to Bradenton, Florida, to the Bridges of America, which is it was owned by Department of Corrections, and it was a rehab, and I was super successful, and I'm super thankful for that. Um, it was. It's obviously something you have to take it, and you have to do it if you don't want yeah. it. You know, and you're always going to have people that don't want to be there. They're just getting through the motion, yeah, getting out of their way through getting it. out of prison, and that's fine. But I learned a lot of. I learned a lot about myself, about the way to deal with life, myself, my coping mechanisms, mental, mental illness and others and myself. You know, I learned a lot there. So it was good. Um, and then I went to regular work release again and I got a job at a restaurant and I still work there to this day, six years later. So it was fantastic. I relocated to where I lived. I'm, I went to work release in St. Petersburg and I relocated there and that is where I built my life and my family now. So...